Meanwhile, Egypt's former armed forces chief of staff, General Sami Annan, has also announced his presidential bid. He appealed to state institutions to maintain neutrality towards all candidates. Sami Annan served as Egypt's army chief of staff and the second in command at the country's Supreme Council of Armed Forces from 2005 until 2012, when he was forced to retire from his, uh, from his post by former President Mohamed Morsi. Sami Annan says his mission will be to save Egypt from what he describes as incorrect policies. On the forefront of the challenges is a threat of terrorism, the regression in the people's living conditions, which are getting worse day after day, as well as the inability of the Egyptian state to deal with files such as land, water and the management of national wealth, especially its human resources. This all is a result of incorrect policies that place the responsibility on our armed forces alone, without sensible policies that allow the state civilian sector to carry out its roles fully with the armed forces. And for more on this, we're now joined by CGTN's Yasser Hakim in Cairo. Uh, Yasser, it seems, of course, now that uh, the election season has begun in earnest. Is the incumbent president, LCC, likely to face a strong challenge in his re-election bid? Well, he's, uh, he's still considered a hero for his role in uh, ousting the uh, uh, outlawed Muslim Brotherhood and uh, restoring security uh, to, and stability to the country. Uh, obviously, he's, been, he's embarked and launched a lot of uh, mega projects such as the New Suez Canal project, the, uh, the uh, roads, uh, the one million Fedan uh, uh, agriculture project and the new capital uh, that have uh, been received very positively from the people as well as uh, his role in counter-terrorism. So, uh, at the moment, he is widely expected to be leading the candidates uh, for uh, the uh, next elections. And of course, we know now that uh, former Armed Forces Chief of Staff Sami Annan, Annan rather, has uh, declared his interest in this election. Uh, just tell us about some of these other candidates that will be going head to head with the president. Well, apart from uh, Annan, Sami Annan, who is considered more most probably the, the highest challenger to uh, uh, the Egyptian president being an, uh, an ar a former army general as well and chief of staff. Uh, the others uh, are basically two, also two have confirmed uh, so far. Khaled Ali, he's a 45-year-old uh, lawyer uh, and a member of a rights group and he already ran for the office in 2012 and he came seventh from 13 candidates who ran for the elections back then. Uh, but he has a problem is that he, he has a court case uh, for indecent uh, uh, public indecency, uh, for indecent gestures in the streets uh, and publicly and in the media. And there's uh, a verdict in uh, next uh, month, uh, end of next month. If it's against him, then he will be forced to uh, uh, stand down from the elections. Uh, the other is uh, Murtada Mansour, who is a president of... Uh, a football club, uh, Zamalek Football Club, a prominent club in the Arab world, and he's a lawyer as well. Uh, those two have also confirmed uh, they uh, will be running for the post. However, Anan is uh, mainly uh, seen as the uh, more uh, competitive, uh, uh, if you can say, uh, uh, candidate of the three. And Yasser, what issues are likely to dominate the election campaigns? Well, I guess it's going to be uh, two main issues that will head the campaigns of all the, the, the candidates. First of all, economy, uh, how to recover the economic uh, stability in Egypt and rebuild the economy. Obviously, the candidates will be uh, criticizing the um, uh, economic reforms by the Egyptian president. Uh, obviously, these reforms uh, have led to uh, some uh, burden on the uh, on the limited uh, earning Egyptians, especially with the devaluation of the Egyptian pound and the inflation, and I think those uh, this issue will be uh, shed will be uh, uh, put on the front of the campaigns by uh, the candidates, as the Egyptian president has been saying that he is uh, these austerity measures are. Uh, are, are something that you cannot deny in order to try to rebuild the economy. The other issue is counter-terrorism. Uh, they will be uh, discussing uh, or uh, criticizing uh, the, uh, econo the, the terrorist attacks that has been taking place in Egypt and that terrorism, in spite of the crackdown in the last three years, has not 
uh, been fully eradicated. Uh, obviously, uh, the Egyptian president will be countering this, saying that it has uh, the, the terrorist attacks have been reduced a lot in the last uh, year and a half. Uh, and that it takes time to counter terrorism completely or to eradicate terrorism. So two main logos for, for all would probably be economic recovery and uh, fighting terrorism in the country. Well, thank you so much. Yasser Hakim joining us there from Cairo.